there, Cancer. How are you? We're going to get started on your love reading for the month of September. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. How are you guys doing? I hope that uh, I hope that you're doing pretty good. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. For those of you that care to know, I am using the Light Seer's Tarot today. Cancer, sun, moon, and rising in the sign of Cancer. All right, let's see. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus in Cancer. This is your love reading for the month of September. Let's see what's going on with you guys this time around. Okay, I'm seeing a wedding dress, and then I saw black paint just like splashed on it. Okay, let's see how that ties into your reading. We have the Five of Wands. Definitely, that's that's conflict there for sure, right? So, hmm. I'm hearing so someone's dreams of walking down, down the aisle are, I guess, ruined. I feel like this is um I feel like this is overall a good thing for you uh Cancer. Let's see. <laughs> we have the lovers. And then we have the 4 of wands which is representative of like um a wedding. Guys, okay. <gasps> Okay, so now I'm seeing a woman and she has a knife and she's just like tearing up a wedding dress. All right, so for many of you, what I'm getting is that there is a, a, a union for many of you. You could be getting married. There could be plans to get married or there is a divine union. There is a higher commitment here with the lovers and then the four of wands. And I do believe that there is um, uh, uh, um, someone here that, is not happy about this so for many of you there's for sure a wedding guys look four of wands is a wedding and then here we have the two of cups so this is for sure this is a wedding that is happening this is a higher commitment even i'm hearing if you are not uh, engaged or even have necessarily i'm hearing had plans there is that that okay there is someone here that is not okay with you with two people coming together and we see that with the five of wands the five of wands is competition it is conflict it is uh challenges so i do see someone that is um angry that is disturbed and that is f feeling uh, d uh destructive and, and vengeful here uh as two people i'm hearing come together or come i'm hearing come together in holy matrimony is actually what i'm hearing interesting so that is what we have going on here guys i feel like we have two people that are you know feeling so connected to one another that are incredibly happy and free and there's a sense of liberation here that has been attained which is allowing two people to completely i'm hearing enjoy and embrace one another i don't feel like this has been easy in fact i feel like it has been challenging up until this point and here with this five of wands guys um well i i do see people at the very least one but i'm also sensing like several people objecting to this and in fact even trying to stop it that's what i see here guys i i see i see someone people a group of people or a particular person here with this uh, nine of wands that um i'm hearing that needs to move on with the six of swords but look we have the devil that 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 needs to move on but that is um who just doesn't want to give this up and who believes that they can still interfere 
with with well between this divine union with the nine of swords i i see someone here okay this is i'm going to say it's an ex or you know it's just um someone here that's um this is a feminine energy so let's just say that's connected to the divine masculine but apply it to your situation for some of you this could certainly be a masculine energy that's doing this but overall there is uh there is a person here guys that is having a very hard time accepting and moving on okay and letting go of this i feel like there is a lot of conflict within them i do feel like they're thinking about doing all kinds of crazy stuff as a matter of fact um with the nine of swords I, I feel like they're having a lot of troubling thoughts as a result of you know uh what is happening and with the devil i do feel like they are resorting to manipulation to uh, possessiveness control um and any and even you know pulling some strings here guys and uh i don't obsessive as well very obsessive and um I see them trying to tempt and lure I mean, someone in through through underhanded means, guys, the devil, and then strings attached. So I, I do feel like someone, there are some sort of strings here attached still, okay, that it, someone is, is, is using, okay, to try to ruin uh, sabotage certainly with the five of wands the coming together the the union and and the relationship commitment and, and even marriage uh, wedding guys that is happening here look we have the eight of cups someone has already walked yeah look someone has walked away look eight of cups and look you see eight of cups and five of cups I mean, it's, 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 it's more, it's just, it's over, it's done, it's a wrap, it's dead, it's buried, it's gone, it doesn't exist. Look, the tower and then the death card. It, it, it's done, it's over with, it's a wrap. I'm hearing, you know, that someone here needs, needs to, um, needs to move towards their happiness because their happiness is no longer here. The happiness is no longer here. Eight, eight of eight of cups. This is the you know having to having to move on. I feel like someone is having a very hard time doing that. I feel like um, they are feeling very helpless. They're feeling very hopeless. I feel like they're having a lot of troubling thoughts. Um, I feel like they're trying to make, I'm hearing a uh, space, they're trying to make opportunities where there is no opportunity left. I see that here with that door. I'm hearing it's, 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 this has been closed. Uh, this is a loss. This is, this is not for them. And again, they're having a very difficult time with this, with the tower and then the death card. Um, I mean, this is, Guys, when the death comes, death comes. There's no arguing, okay, with death. You know, death is, hey, nothing personal, right? Uh, it's, just, it's just, it's done, it's over with. And here with this tower, it's almost like it, it, it is super, it's clear. It, it, is, it is more than clear. I feel like with the tower and the death card, um the t the i'm also feeling guys that there is divine intervention here with this uh uh with this tower so it's a it's a very strong powerful force here okay that is creating massive change as well as as chaos guys in a particular person's life with the five of pentacles i, I feel like someone is eventually I feel certainly and even right now coming to terms with the fact that this is something th that that is a loss that is that is over with the 
with the eight of cups uh well i mean they they have they have they're letting this go with the six of swords i do feel like again eventually they will be it's like this guys look so this came out first and then the devil okay so this is what I'm getting here. We have a particular individual that at this time, I feel like it's just refusing to accept, okay? You see a progression, right? We have this five of wands where I feel like, you know, this is someone, you know, death is here, it's over, like this is over. And then with the five of wands, it's like they, they're they still, they're wanting to fight for this aggressively, okay? And and they're, they're wanting to just exert, you know, their will and say no. So with the five of wands here at the very beginning, I feel like, again, this is an individual who is exerting their will, doing, taking actions in the tact, um, actions it is that they're taking are to, I'm hearing, still compete and win someone over. I'm hearing by force, okay? And um, then I see a certain level of... Um, I see obviously that not working and then I see someone resorting to a, another manipulative tactic here uh, which goes from aggression um, and force competition to um, I'm hearing wailing and crying and screaming and throwing fits and I'm hearing and then okay they're going to see that that's not that's not working six of swords so the Six of Swords is all about abandoning something that is not serving you. So I feel like this is this particular individual saying, okay, this is not working. Five of Wands is not working. I can no longer compete. I'm hearing with this love, with this other person. I can't. I can't. I'm hearing the crying, okay, and, and it's, it's, it's the, the guilt tripping is not working six of swords so i'm i'm moving oh, i'm i'm leaving uh, that's not working for me so now what's next we have the devil we have the devil guys so i mean i, I see th i'm seeing this like go in stages can you tell me more about this devil guys this could even I've been, this is just like a thing that i'm getting i did taurus i did gemini and now i'm doing you so i'm doing the first sign of of all the elements so like taurus virgo capricorn i'm doing taurus gemini libra aquarius i'm doing gemini cancer scorpio pisces cancer and then i'm going to do aries after you and hopefully i could do more because i would like to get um all of the signs uh uploaded soon but something that i'm seeing it could just be this deck Ooh, like right now what I heard is that somebody needs to be careful with what it is that somebody is giving them okay like a certain gift as well as like a drink or something um, but anyways what I was what I was uh, trying to say for many of you there's a cancer Scorpio Pisces what I was saying is that I'm just getting this vibe for like this first bunch of you guys like of witchcraft brujeria santeria spell work black magic and things like that you know this it just reminds me of that in the way that i'm seeing this progress here i'm, I'm just seeing someone um i'm i'm, I'm seeing one someone here exhaust you, you know their options and they're it's almost like this is the last resort six of swords and then the devil like okay well well i guess i'm gonna have to go to the devil now and I'm seeing, I'm actually heard right now that for many of you, this is some sort of like witch person here, someone that does, um, you know, black magic and, and stuff like that. So I am seeing that here, guys. Tell me about this devil. Yeah, somebody will is going to uh, resort to um, manipulating someone through uh, black... Uh, through spell work and black magic. Okay, let's see what we have here. We have the Emperor, we have the King of Swords, and then we have the Ace of Pentacles. Guys, what I'm getting right now is that this person has done this before. This person has done this before. 
I'm seeing the emperor as like a, a plan, as a, a, a tactic, a strategy, especially with the that thing, that chess piece they have there, which is all about making the right moves, very calculating. That's the way that I'm seeing the emperor. And then you see these horns there. It just reminds me of, it just, to me, it just goes with this devil energy. And then here we have this king of swords. And I'll tell you why, like this king of swords is popular. It came out for Taurus, it came out for Gemini. This king of swords has white eyes. And I've never really noticed that. I use, this is the Light Seer's Tarot. Not sure if I told you guys at the beginning, that's what I'm using. And the King of Swords has white eyes, which, you know, when you think about white eyes, you could think about somebody that is possessed. You could think it's specifically, you know, I think about cataracts. Cataracts is, is um, you can't, your, your sight is impaired. So, and also like in, in, in uh, like scary movies, uh, I can't think about one, but I know I've seen it before. Like white eyes are just, you know, connected with like being possessed or like seeing something so, you know, shocking or whatever that it just, it just, it's, it's associated with blindness pretty much, right? Which is interesting because this is the King of Swords and the King of Swords has clarity of mind. If there's one thing, the King of Swords is not blind, you know, he's, he sees very clearly. And in fact, I do. I do see, I do see a masculine energy here being, you know, very, very, very attuned, very aware. And I do see him realizing something here. Because this 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 guy here just, you know, it gives me the vibe of I've just seen, I've been through some things and there's this like realization, a heavy realization that kind of just hits the him, it feels like. And then we have an owl there, which is all seeing, all knowing. And then back here, it's like there's a bat. So you see there's like a shadow. So I do uh, see a masculine energy whose awareness is very peaked and, and bright and, and, um, and, and I do see them being able to see, okay, past any sort of manipulation, control, tactics, and illusions and shadows, I'm hearing that, uh, are placed before him. You see that with that bat there? And with the Ace of Pentacles, guys, I see the Ace of Pentacles as a protective, very protective energy, which I associate with Archangel Uriel. And Ar you know, Archangel Uriel uh, is um, connected, represented by the pentacle, which is a very, it's a protective symbol. And here we see it. Now, another thing that I'm getting for you guys is that there's someone here that has paid, okay? This is the emperor as well, someone professional. So you see devil and then the emperor. This is a professional um, experienced, okay? Um, a person who does, uh, you know, that kind of work, uh, dark magic kind of work. They have spent, they're spending, I'm hearing a pretty penny on this for many of you. There's someone here that has spent a lot of money spiritually um, um, suppressing someone and controlling them, okay? Absolutely, with that Ace of Pentacles, I'm hearing, but this person is protected now. This person is protected. I do feel like that is the divine that stepped in. Absolutely. And, and just put it put an end to all of this. Absolutely. With the squirrel energy, you see there's a squirrel there. I do feel so the squirrel is like a very nervous energy. It's always um, running back and forth, planning for the future. So I feel like there has been a lot of plans here, guys, that, you know, have been in the making for a very long time. Let me see this five of wands. Who is this person? Uh, spirit, five of wands. Can you tell me about this person? Anything it is that you could uh, give my dear cancer at this time to give them, you know, um, for many of you, you, I mean, you know who this person is, but let's just see five of wands. Tell me about this five of wands spirit. Ooh, okay. Cancer Scorpio Pisces here. Oh, I'm getting itchy in my nose and then my, my eyebrows and then my head. Queen of Cups, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. 
And then you see how this woman has her hands like that. So I feel like this is a woman's like, uh, uh-uh, I don't, I don't do that. I, I don't, I don't do that. Yeah. So I feel like this is the type of person who will deny. Uh, well, of course, yeah, they they will deny. Look, and then here we have that money exchange. Yeah, this Queen of Cups guys has paid. There's someone here that has paid. Okay, there's a money exchange here that has occurred. Um, they could have even paid some some people, guys, okay, or given something to somebody with this five of wands to just create chaos and or create problems, okay, for sure. Anyways, um, back to this King of Swords. So yeah, you see the, those white eyes there, but yeah, the Ace of Pentacles tells us that this this gentleman here is protected. I do feel like this is um divinely you know or a uh, divinely ordained orchestrated here with this tower the i was saying something about the squirrel right oh yeah so there's a lot of plants guys that have been in the making i i do feel like it's uh, um a feminine energy here guys that has made they they their their plans were disrupted now the squirrel can be a greedy energy too so like think about them there's like they're always grabbing acorns and it's like they can't get enough they're always you know stocking up on acorns so i i do see someone here who there's like this greediness here guys and and i and i do uh see those plans being disrupted and then here we have the death card so there's an ending here for sure that is absolutely undeniable guys all right so now that we have that we have these two cards that came out which is, which are the ace of swords there could be an aries of significance and then we have the page of pentacles Okay, guys, this is what I'm, this is another thing that I'm getting, okay? Look, this is a breakthrough. Every time I see this card, I think about a major breakthrough. You see? Poof. You see it? Poof. And then here we have the Page of Pentacles, which is, it's a very protective energy as well. Like just the Pentacle suit, that's the way that I'm seeing the suit here, this Page of Pentacles. I'm hearing someone is protecting themselves. Absolutely, someone is protecting themselves. I feel like this is uh, uh, the feminine energy. I feel like this is like the feminine uh, cancer here with this Ace of Swords or just the, the one that's in this divine union, okay? Getting ready to... Uh, um, that This is the feminine that we saw in the Lover's card. Uh, I do feel like they're very conscious, they're very aware at this time, and I do feel like they have taken the measures here to uh, protect themselves with this Page of Pentacles. Whatever plans it is that they have, I, I do feel like they're holding on tight to them. There's this, uh, there's this peace as well, okay, that has been attained, that is had, okay, with this, uh, with, with this Page of Pentacles. Yeah, look, justice. Wow of there's there's nothing that is going to harm us there's nothing that is going to come you know ruin this no no matter no matter what there's this like connection with the divine here with this uh ace of swords you see with that light illuminating there i feel like a lot has been revealed okay with this ace of swords and there is someone here that is feeling very safe and very protected and uh and, and I feel like that's because they have clarity of mind. Now, aside from that, guys, I do see this as like this breakthrough that's happening. Um, so I do feel like there's a, a strong sense of, um, what is it? Um, there's this a liberation uh, effect here that I'm getting, especially with this justice card. There could be a Libra of significance. For many of you, I'm hearing the tables have turned. You see how there's someone down here? The tables have turned. And I'm hearing now you, my dear Cancer, the feminine energy, okay, the people that we saw there uh, with in the lovers, I, I feel like they are receiving justice. 
I mean, everybody is receiving what it is that they deserve. I mean, and, and some, and some, the lovers there are are obviously um, receiving love, and then there is someone that is uh, is not justice. Okay, let's see. Tell me more about this justice. There could be like legal, there could be like a legal um, matters here as well. And then we have judgment. Yeah, with just justice and then judgment, I feel like for a selective few, there could be um, like the law, any sort of uh, court, like court. Um, I feel like that could be a factor for some of you. And I, I do feel like that um, that is going to go in your favor. So th there is like this, if there's like any advice I could give from this, there is like a need to trust in the divine. There's a need to trust in your higher guidance and what has already been revealed to you. There is absolutely a need to continue to protect yourself, but at the same time, not to worry, but to take precautions with the page of pentacles and to continue moving forward with whatever plans it is that you have or whatever higher guidance it is that you have already received from your spirit guides and with the justice and the judgment i feel like what this is saying is the universe is saying we got you okay everything's going to work out in your favor the judgment and, and anybody okay i'm hearing that um everybody will receive what they deserve and if there is someone here who uh does not i'm hearing conduct themselves accordingly and tries to come between this with the justice and the just judgment i feel like they will be dealt with and they will receive their judgment i'm hearing there is there there is no blocking this justice you see how there's like something coming out of this woman i'm hearing you're free you're free. There's there's nothing that is going to block you. That is going to bring you down. Nothing. I'm hearing, honey. You you you're you're free. I'm hearing you're free. I'm hearing to start this new be to start this new this new beginning. There's been a, an awakening here as as well, guys. There's an awakening here. Let's see. We have. We have the lovers, and then we have the empress, and we have the page of cups. Guys, there's someone that is head over. I mean, there's two people that are head over heels who I'm hearing the universe is giving them the go, and it's saying, hey, you you don't have anything to worry about. Just go, go, go. Oh, my God, look, go, go. There's nothing stopping you. I mean, I do know that, you know, if you feel that way, the universe is going to make it very clear. It's just going to clear the way for you with that uh, tower and then that death card that we saw. I'm hearing spirit is leveling everything out and is um, returning things to harmony and to the way it sh they, they, they should be before any sort of perversion or tampering happen. I do see someone that is just head over heels uh, with this page of pentacles who feels like they are just in love for the very first time uh, with the empress and then this lovers. I do see children happening very quickly. As a matter of fact, I see twins for some of you like a boy and a girl. Yeah, like, yeah, I see it too there with those horses. There's like a, there's like, yeah, a boy and a girl. And there is this excitement, guys. And guys, there is nothing, there is nothing blocking this connection. Now, again, we do see someone trying, but I feel like absolutely there is nothing that they can do. The chariot and then the lovers and then this empress, guys, this is. I mean, I'm like right now I'm even seeing someone in there like a, like a chariot. You know, a lot of people get married and they get like a chariot. So um, the chariot is just this focus, guys. I'm hearing uh, the universe is clearing the way for two people here at to where there is nothing that they have to worry about. Everything is going to be taken care of with the justice and then the, the, the judgment card. And with the lovers and the empress, guys, I, I see a connection here just growing and flourishing. And, well, look at, there's a world there. I mean, that's, that's a child, guys. 
I mean, these are people that are like, okay, we're, we're coming together and we love each other. And I mean, they're thinking about family and children and there's like no waiting. There is no need to prolong anything. It's there's no, I'm hearing need for me and you to talk about whether this is what we want to do or not. Like, yes, this is what I want to do. And there's no need to wait. Let's just go do it. I'm hearing tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> With the chariot, you see, this is moving very, very very quickly so is this the, there's a relationship here that's moving quickly we saw the whole marriage uh i saw it from the beginning with that wedding dress and uh with the empress it seems as though it's going in order like okay let's get married and then it's like let's have the children kind of thing oh guys here with this king of wands there is a masculine energy that is feeling so confident that is just so excited and inspired at this time king of wands aries leo sagittarius specifically a leo for some of you this is a masculine energy that's in their power, that has a vision that has already unfolded before him. And uh, the, he, there is no doubt, okay? There's, no, there's not even an ounce of doubt I'm hearing in his blood. He's you know, very, very self-assured about all of this. There is no doubt, very confident. And then here we have the Knight of Pentacles and then we have the World card. And we have the Four of Swords. With the Knight of Pentacles, guys, and then this World card. I, I see this Knight of Pentacles as uh, a masculine energy here who... What am I getting from this? <sighs> there's like a mixture of, of, of feelings here. I do feel like there's going to be some sort of relocation because the world card is here. And then we see a gentleman that is traveling. You see that? But he's like off the horse. Yeah, and he's walking. Yeah, I... F okay, I feel like there's there's their masculine energy here has been preparing for a while. Now, I got a little mixture of emotion, so I feel like maybe this is something that um, has been building up. Let me see. Well, actually, what I'm hearing is that they haven't, they haven't, they haven't said this. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. And then we have the devil and then we have the seven of cups. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Yeah, you see? Yeah, sneaky. Look, and this guy's like laughing. Ha, 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 ha. Gotcha. Not really. <laughs> the devil and then the seven of cups. Yeah, I feel like this is something. Okay, there's going to be some sort of relocation here, guys, with the world card. I do see the masculine traveling do you see that towards the feminine energy do you see that i feel like this is something that they have been you know this is is, is something that they have been planning for a while not just planning but preparing for the masculine has been preparing for this guys yeah i feel like with the seven of cups and then the devil there is a sneaky energy here um i do feel like yeah, that, well, there's a lot of thinking going on here, guys. There's sneakiness. I'm seeing this as sneakiness. The devil and then this uh, seven of cups. Let me get one more card. A lot of options, a lot of, yeah. I feel like this is the masculine here that at some point, uh, for whatever reason, they felt the need to hide. You know, there are options here with the with this seven of cups. Uh, I also feel like this is something this masculine was playing, uh, planning uh, during the time that they were still attached to this other person. And then here we have the Nine of Swords and then we have the Star. I'm getting that for many of you, this is something that the masculine did not tell you star and then nine of swords because look here we have a woman that's crying and then we have the star right next to it so this is like something like don't cry like this is like don't cry don't cry like there's something good here and then here we have the sneaky and then sneaky sneak factor especially so with the seven of cups and you see how there's some indecision you know the devil and the seven of cups i'm seeing this as indecision here 
okay i don't really want to go any deeper into that um but that's pretty much what i see here guys towards the end this knight of pentacles and then the world card uh, this is this is someone that is prepared this is someone that is prepared for a totally new beginning and chapter in their lives. I do see relocation happening here, or at the very least, I do see, you know, a masculine taking the moves, the steps necessary to move, be closer to the feminine energy. And then here with the star and then the nine of swords, I still see an X here, guys, uh, holding on to hope. Look, the star and then the nine. This is someone still, you know, uh, being hopeful. Now, guys, remember earlier I said that I do see some sort of manipulation, and then I saw someone like paying someone a lot of money, very, very experienced, uh, you know, uh, um, we could a very experienced. Uh, uh, a person that that does spell work the devil and then the seven of cups so you see there's some indecision here like i see that sneaking up which seems so um i mean the devil's there this is a a, a negative influence so again guys look and then we saw the nine of swords which we connected to like a, another uh, the person here that was had that conflicting energy that was throwing the black paint on the dress that I, the wedding dress that I saw. Look, cup, the star and then the nine of cups. So this is still someone that is holding on to hope, guys. I do feel like there is manipulation, okay, here. Okay, again, I'm hearing we have some more crying here. I'm hearing some more promises. I'm hearing someone just like appearing very angelic, praying. I mean, there's just so much. I mean, just, I mean, make up your mind, okay? Who, who you, it's like this person's asking heaven and hell for help, okay? And with the seven of cups, I feel like it's, I do see the masculine here being negatively influenced or being tempted. You see how the hands like come here and then this guy's like, uh, you know? Uh, like you wanting to create doubt so I do see someone here trying to create doubt guys because they still have hope I do see that as the other person okay and again we saw that with you know that that well with the devil and the emperor that we saw earlier and I'm like wait a minute I'm like this person's gonna resort to just they have one last trick up their sleeve here we have the sun card and then we have the four, uh, we have the four of pentacles. So you see how this woman, this feminine energy here, the four of pentacles is all about holding on. It, it, it holds on. It, it, it's, it, it doesn't want to let go. We see that clearly with that purse there. Oh no, mine, mine, right? Mine. And then here with this sun card. I feel like it's going to be very evident what this individual is doing with the sun card. I do feel like whatever, you know, dirty deeds it's, it is that this person, you know, has done, I do feel like they're going to be illuminated and exposed with the sun card. Uh, with the sun card as well, guys, I really do see the divine being very present in all of this. And I see it, um, I see it uh, very hard. I'm hearing for this uh um energy feminine energy here okay to infiltrate especially so with the you see yeah you see death no it's done i do you see do expect that do it do ex, do expect this person not to give up easily at all no i'm hearing even after oh goodness even after the fact so with the seven of wands you see how there's all these energies are coming towards this woman but she's like blocking them off and there's like this crystal bubble there. And then we have this sun card. So this is, I'm hearing, this is a person that is attempting to infiltrate, okay? To be, to, 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 yeah, to infiltrate guys. And it's, it's again, it's this one right here, but I, I don't see you allowing them. I also um, see someone attempting here with the seven of cups and then the devils to create doubt, okay? To create doubt could certainly be, you know, towards this feminine energy here but i'm hearing it's just going to be so difficult uh, to burst your bubble okay i feel like you're going to be in your power you're gonna you know you're going to be very feel very safe very secure and that's what the king of wands does okay i feel like 
Uh, this masculine energy is certainly going to be doing everything in their power, okay, to make you, you know, feel safe and, and secure. But again, I, I do see someone wanting to create I illusions here and wanting to create doubt. But I don't see that happening with the sun card and then the seven of uh seven of what is it wands all right that's that's it that's it that's it my dear let's get some oracle cards now for you my dear cancer oh that's right and then we have look i mean just to kind of wrap things up again look death card there is done it's over it's done yes it really is i'm hearing it's really it, it really is done it's over and then here we have the six of wands this is victory over all of this. I'm hearing you're left standing here. The Six of Wands is also marriage, guys. is walking down the aisle. So look, yes, it's done. It's over. And yes, there's a wedding, okay? And you're not invited. <laughs> okay, let's see. Um, well, someone isn't for sure. All right. Cancer, if you want to book a reading with me, guys, you can do so by going to the link down below in the description box. It's going to take you to votrevoyagetarot.com where you could book a private reading with me. All right, Cancer, let's see what we have for you. Cancer, Cancer. Here we go. These two. It says confusion. Hello, we were just we were just telling you guys that. It says key, you have the key to your success. This is a yes answer. And it says confusion. The present is clouded. The future is uncertain. More information is needed for clarity. So I feel like at this time, guys, there is a lot of confusion. There could be family issues or family could be involved here in some kind of way. And it could be creating, you know, some confusion or some doubt at the present, uh, in, in the present, okay? Yeah, family and confusion. And then here with these keys, I, I'm also getting guys that, you know, uh, when I, well, when I think about keys, I'm like, right now I'm thinking about a house. So I feel like a home situation, especially so with the family, there could be some issues there, which are creating some conflict. You have the key to your success. This is a yes answer. Um, now we also like, I feel like proposal or something like that going on there. Um, I do feel like there is a lot of, uh, there's a lot of, we saw it from the very beginning, guys, there's a lot of conflicting energies, which are trying to sabotage that. Remember my vision, the white dress and someone throwing black paint on it, as well as someone I saw like a woman with a knife that was tearing up that white dress. So there's, a, uh, I would say there's some negative influences here, which are trying to sabotage, uh, um, sabotage these plans. And I do feel like there's someone that could be thinking, because look, it says the this is a yes answer. So somebody could also, you know, be thinking, Ian, is this is this going to happen? Is this possible? Yes. For many of you, there could be a need to be patient, uh, being willing to accept delay, know that anything worth having takes time. Let's see. We have expressed a time to have heart, to have heart to heart conversations. Yeah, you see, Key, I feel like there's someone here who is, um, which I feel like it's normal. I feel like, yeah, there's someone here who wants to propose or something, and and uh, I feel like they could be thinking, well, you know, are they going to say yes? Yeah. Yeah, it's time to have a heart to heart conversation. I'm hearing there's someone here, guys, there's someone like they want to say something very important. And they're like, okay, they're feeling very confused. I feel like they've even gotten family involved. For many of you, I feel like family knows about this. Um, I feel like there's someone here that is going to be proposing guys, let me get one more card. Yeah, I, I mean, hello, your reading started romance started with uh, with a wedding dress. And then here it says love. Yeah, you see, feelings are real and true. A connection between lovers, a feeling of complete emotional happiness. Yeah, that's the one. There's two, there, I mean, yes, this is love. This is what love feels like. And I feel like someone is just wanting to express that. And one of the ways that they, they, they want to do this, it, uh, expressing their love is, is by uh, wanting to 
I, really I see it's like wanting to, to marry for many of you starting a family and and again they're just you know a little confused right now obviously because of all the tension that we saw there and oops sorry about that my screen just went uh, idle there what was I saying yeah there's like a lot of confusion because of all that devil energy that we saw there you know that negative influence which is definitely going to create a veil it's going to um make someone confused and that's definitely you know the the purpose uh for that. All right, guys, so this is what I have. Uh, thank you so much for allowing me to do this reading for you. As always, truly, it was an honor and my pleasure. You guys take care. Okay, bye.